Hey, what is up, you guys? Chorus Cubing here, and today I'm bringing you the 2x2 two two tutorial. First off, let me go ahead and apologize about the lighting in here. It is raining outside uh, in California, which is really weird. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this tutorial going. Okay, first off, for the tutorial, you're going to need to learn notation. Now, um, I am going to go ahead and teach this as if this is a person who has never solved a puzzle before and you're looking to get into, you know, solving the puzzle. Um, for this puzzle, you're only going to need to learn three forms of notation, although there are, I think, six. Or, no, there's actually a lot. But, um, there's like six main ones. But, these are the ones you're going to have to learn for, for this puzzle. Uh, at least the way I solve it. So, first, we're going to go ahead and start with R. R is going to be, I like to think of it, your right hand. So, the layer that is on your right hand. So, it would be this layer. And when I say R, everything goes clockwise. So R is clockwise, okay? R prime would be the opposite. R prime would be counterclockwise. So R prime goes down. So R, R prime. Okay, the next one you're gonna need to learn is F. Uh, this is the layer that is facing you. So as you can see, this is the red, the blue, and the yellow. The yellow is facing me, so I'm going to be turning that layer like so. So, F is going to be clockwise, so there's F. And then F prime is going to be counterclockwise, like that. So once again, F is like this. F prime is like this. I hope that was, um, I hope that was understandable there. And um, now we're going to go ahead and get on with the last one, which is going to be U, which is up the up layer so it is going to be this top layer here so when I say you it's going to be go uh, going counterclockwise so there is counterclockwise U prime is going that way okay counterclockwise so once again I'll go over all of them but those are all you need to learn uh, don't feel ashamed to go back uh, definitely is not easy learning this kind of stuff so once again this is R R prime F, F prime, U, U prime. One other form of notation is the twos. Now what I mean by this is uh, in these algorithms sometimes you're gonna have to move a layer twice and whenever you see something that has a two next to it it means it moves twice okay so if I say R2 you're gonna go ahead and move the R layer uh, twice. It doesn't matter in which way you do it uh, because it turns into 180, it will always be the same. So R2 basically means twice you're going to move it. So R2 is one that you have to use. So when it says R2, you're going to move it once and twice. That's R2. When it says F2, you're going to move the face layer twice. So this is 1 and this is 2. Okay, F2, 1, 2. So that's what a 2 uh, means in notation. Uh, ho hopefully that wasn't too fast, but... um. Yeah, that's basically it for notation. Let's go ahead and uh, get this started. So now, first off, if you do have your puzzle and you haven't scrambled it yet, one thing you're going to want to do with the 2x2 two two is learn the color scheme. Um, when you're solving an uh, even number of puzzles, 2x2, 4x4, 6x6, and so on, uh, they don't have a center layer. So that means um, there is no set color for any side. So you're going to have to learn the way in which it is. Uh, this is the standard color scheme that comes on a lot of puzzles, which is, I remember it as red, white, and blue. Opposite of red is always orange. Opposite of blue is always green. Opposite of white is always yellow. Uh, another way to look at it is like the colors that is most similar to it. Um, the color that is most similar to red is orange. The color that is most similar to blue is green. And the color that is most similar to white is yellow. So, um, Maybe you can learn like that, but if you did not, um, if you scrambled it before learning the cover scheme, don't fret, you know, don't worry about it, you, we can still solve it, not a problem. It just makes everything a lot easier. So now, let's go ahead and get the scramble. Okay, I'd say that was a sufficient scramble. Uh, first off, before we start getting the questions, this is the Type-C Wood 2 version 1. Um, the colors I have on here 
are from the cubicle.us. The colors are normal white, uh, normal yellow, sky blue, fluorescent red, which I'm not really a fan of. Uh, I usually get normal red, uh, normal orange, and uh, fluorescent green. So if you like that color scheme, those are the colors. So the first uh, objective here when going to solve the 2x2 two two in my method of solving is you're going to want to solve the bottom layer. You can just choose whatever color you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with white, but generally when I solve, I tend to um, I tend to go with whatever color has the most. Like here, I would go with yellow or blue. Probably blue. Um, okay, so here I see a white piece, so I'm just going to I'm going to start with this one. Now when you're looking at a, a piece on the, on the puzzle, um, you're going to see that this one is white, so I'm going to have that on the bottom layer. I'm going to have white on the bottom. That's how we're going to solve this, okay? And what you're going to want to do is, you know, get all the white pieces on the bottom, which is the objective. So in order to do that, we want these, this layer to also be solved along with it so that the um, it will be correctly oriented so when doing that you're gonna have to look at the other colors on the piece here we have red and green so in order to get this started I'm gonna have to find a piece with white red or white and green so uh, let's see here right away I see a white and red piece so this is how we're gonna do it this is where the first algorithm is going to come into play. So um, maybe you might want a pen and paper ready to go ahead and do this. But what you're going to want to do is move that piece uh, on the top layer to where it needs to belong, which is here next to the red. So that was all it took. Now we need to get this piece on the bottom. We need the white to face the bottom here. So now that we have it correctly in the right spot, we need to drop it down here. The algorithm we're going to do, um, well, this is where the first algorithm comes into play. You're going to want to put that piece in the right, on your right side. So here I have the piece. The white still needs to come on the bottom here. And um, we're going to perform this algorithm here. It is R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, and as you can see, it is inserted into the bottom. Let me go ahead and redo that, um, just in case you didn't see. Once again, this white piece needs to come down here, so I have it on the right side, on the right layer, and then we perform the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, so now that's in there. Um, sometimes it's going to take one time, sometimes it's already going to be done, sometimes it's going to take four times, okay? Um, you can just keep repeating that algorithm, and... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we find that case here. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and look for the other side, which is the green. So I need to find a piece with white and green on it. And uh, here it is, right here. So once again, I'm just going to move the top. You can move the top layer freely without messing up the bottom. So we're just going to move the top layer freely and uh, put that above where it needs to go. So um, now that we have that there, we're going to go ahead and perform the same algorithm. R u r prime u prime okay so now that's on the bottom i apologize for that okay guys we're almost done now so let's go ahead and finish this we have our last piece the last white piece that has to come on the bottom here so once again you just put it on the right side and you perform the same algorithm r u r prime u prime okay but look as you can see it did not solve it it is in the bright place, but it, this white this white side needs to come down here. So what we're going to do is just keep it the same. Keep that piece on your right side and keep performing the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, didn't do it. So let's go ahead and do it again. R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, so now that's on there. Um, I do want to show another case. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. So let's say you're looking for a piece to come on the bottom here and the white piece is on the bottom layer and uh, you need to get that layer up here so you can move it around to where it needs to go. So when it's like that, what you're going to want to do is put the piece that you want to put onto the top layer and just go ahead and perform the same algorithm. R, U, 
R prime, U prime. And now you're free to move that QB wherever it needs to be placed. Um, okay, now that we have it where it needs to be placed, go ahead and do the same algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, and with that, uh, if done correctly, you should have this whole layer solved as well as the bottom. If you don't, go ahead and go back. Um, feel free to just keep pausing, um, you know, writing down stuff. That is how you learn how to solve these things. So it's going to take some time, but uh, yeah, once you get it correct, come back to the video and we'll finish it. Okay, you guys, so now that we've got the first step done, we're going to go on to step two, which is going to be orienting the top layer. What I mean by orienting is um, you see how we have all these in the correct place all these on the top need to match so like how this yellow piece is yellow blue and orange we're gonna want that piece to be here on the yellow blue and the yellow and blue uh, piece it doesn't need to be solved it just needs to be yellow and blue so it's oriented okay so um what you're gonna want to do when doing this step is just choose one piece on the top it doesn't matter you can choose one that's solved and choose one that isn't solved uh, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the orange and blue one. So that is in the correct place. What we're going to want to do here is um, fix all of these so that they too will be in the correct place. Now, uh, the one next to it is in the correct place, but sometimes it won't be like that. Um, that's, you know, that's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut and get a case where this is not in the correct spot either. Okay guys, so we're back now and um, you can see that the orange and blue is still in the correct place. But now, the uh, this cube, this piece here needs to move over here. This needs to move here and this needs to move here. So, um, the next algorithm, it's really long but it is the, uh, it's the longest one you're going to have to memorize but it's the only one that will really, you know, take, a, take some time to memorize. And um, once you learn it, it's not really that hard to perform. Uh, what this algorithm is going to do is it's just going to switch whatever two pieces are lined up on the right side. So when I perform this algorithm, this uh, this QB and this QB will switch positions. Okay. So when you have a case where it's all three um, that need to move, um, you can just start with whatever one is in the far corner and then just keep moving it until it gets to where it needs to go. Uh, it might be easier if I just show you how it's done. So uh, The algorithm should be on the screen here and uh, once you've chosen whatever QB you want to be um, to, you know, be your base, uh, just keep it on the left side nothing will happen to it. Okay, So now we're gonna go ahead and switch these two so then I can then switch these two so this will go over here where it belongs. So. Uh, once you have the two pieces you want to switch, go ahead and perform this algorithm. R2 U, R2 U prime, R2 F2 U prime, F2 U, F2 U prime. Okay, so as you can see, our piece here is safe, nothing happened to it and these two have switched. Now this is correct and this is correct but these two still need, uh, still need to be switched so um, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So once again keep the ones that you want safe on your left side and uh, go ahead and perform this algorithm. R2 U R2 U prime R2 F2 U prime F2 U F2 U prime. Now you can see that every QB is in the correct spot. This is the green and red spot, so we have the green and red here. This is the blue and red, obviously it's correct. This is the orange and blue, orange and blue, which was our base. And then we have the green and orange, and the green and orange, which is all good. Uh, if you did not get that, once again, go ahead, feel free to go ahead and look over that once again. And um, once you get that down, come back and we'll get on with finishing the puzzle. You're pretty much there. It's the last step. Okay, um, remember when I said there was only two algorithms? I lied. There is one more algorithm, but this one is super simple, just like the first one, so don't worry about it. Although you are going to need 
uh, to learn one more new uh, notation here. Okay, so for this algorithm, there is uh, one more form of notation, which is D. So when I say D, when looking at the cube, this is the top layer or up. So this one would be down. So this is how the layer moves. When I say D, it's this way, turning clockwise. And when I say D prime, it's this way, counterclockwise. Okay, so once again, D, D prime. And that's it, that's all you have to learn for that. Okay, so now that we've got that down, um, let's go ahead and finish this puzzle. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we wanna flip these cubies up so that they all match. Um, one thing you really, really have to pay attention to is you don't move the cube here, okay? Once you, like, notice how I have the orange face on the bottom here, that is never going to change. You don't want, you don't want to turn the cube like that. Otherwise, you'll screw up everything and you'll have to start up, uh, start all over again. So, make sure that you don't turn, physically turn the, the entire cube. You're just going to want to move this top layer. I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so this one is already solved. So we're going to go ahead and solve this one. To solve this, you're going to uh, need to go ahead and learn this algorithm here. It's R prime, D prime, R, D. As you can see, it didn't fix it, so we're just going to keep going until it does. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Make sure you perform the complete algorithm. Also, you may notice that it did mess up the bottom, but don't worry. Uh, that's why you don't turn the bottom. It's going to refix everything. So then, all of these are solved already, so we need to get this one. So we're just going to go ahead, turn the up layer twice to make sure you want to only use this slot. So it was like this. This was solved. You're going to want to move an unsolved piece into that layer and perform the same algorithm. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. And from here, it doesn't take a genius to solve the puzzle. And there you go. Um, sometimes it will be solved after the last step. Sometimes none of them will be solved. So, uh... That algorithm is just like the first one. You're going to have to keep performing it until it is done. But once again, it is really, really important that you do not turn the entire cube. You only turn the top layer. Okay? Um, let's go ahead and redo that, uh, the last step so maybe you can get a better idea. In this case here, you can see that we only have one solved. And all three of these need to be solved but are oriented correctly. Make sure they are oriented correctly. So, once again... Um, just start with one that isn't solved, put it on your right side here, and you're going to go ahead and perform the algorithm again, which is R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. Now that that one's solved, we're just going to turn it, get another unsolved one, go ahead and solve that one. R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. Once again, that one is solved now, so we're going to move the unsolved one into this spot and redo the algorithm. R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And then once again, we just match the colors up and the cube is solved. Um, I'm really sorry if that last um, step was really hard to understand there uh, and also for throwing in that other algorithm. But yeah, you guys, hopefully this helped you solve your 2x2. Two two. Uh, if it did, please go ahead and give it a like. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, I generally will answer any, you know, any comment that needs answering. So, yeah, any questions, just go ahead and leave it down there. Uh, maybe I missed a step or something, you can go ahead and let me know. And uh, maybe I can fix it. But hopefully, this got your 2x2 solved. And uh, yeah, you guys, I'm out. Peace.